this is my college degree. And it's useless? Or is it? Do you need a computer science degree in 2025? It's no surprise that one of the top questions I get across all platforms, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, is do I need a computer science degree to go into programming? There's a simple and a not so simple answer. Simple answer? No, you don't. If that's all you came for, thanks for watching, subscribe, like, comment, all the good news. But it's not quite that simple. If you stick around, I'd like to talk to you about why you might not need a computer science degree, what your options are if you don't want to get one, and why you might still want to get one in 2025. While I can definitively say that you do not need a computer science degree to go into programming in 2025 and beyond, I can also definitively say that it might be a little more difficult if you choose not to. In this video, I'll talk to you about the three main pathways that people take to go from a not programming to a professional programming job. I'll talk to you about what the pros and cons of each route are and why you might want to take one path over the other. Before I get into anything, I just want to take everyone for watching and giving feedback on my last video. It was the first video I really put effort into and it got over 20,000 views in just a week and I gained over 400 subs from it and I really appreciate that. I appreciate all the great conversations in the comments and all the great feedback. Thank you. And also... <laughs> Welcome to the streaming room. It's a total mess right now, but this is where I'm going to be streaming on Twitch. I'm still working on the finites of the actual scheduling. I used to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Wednesdays aren't so great anymore. For now, I'm going to try and keep up at least the Monday and Friday aspect of this. I'll be streaming games and from time to time software development. So if you want to check that out, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash JC is watching live. Like I said, Monday, Friday, we're about 7 to 9 p.m. Central time every week. The room's a mess, but this is where we'll be doing it. And hopefully it's a good change of scenery from my last video. Now, like I said, there are three main pathways that people are going to take when they're trying to break into computer science. That's either going through a traditional university and getting a bachelor's or master's degree, going through a coding boot camp, or self-teaching while working another position. All three of these are very valid pathways with pros and cons. Let's start with path number one, college. Four years of grinding, going to lectures, taking tests, stupid exams, and electives that don't really matter towards your career. College is still by far the most popular route to getting into tech. With about roughly 73% of current full-time workers having a bachelor's degree at minimum in all computer and IT jobs. This is according to the US Department of Labor. And you'll find that bachelor degrees are still a minimum for most job postings. There are some major benefits to attending a traditional university or an online school, such as resources like professors and study labs, a wide variety of classes like databases, networking on top of your regular programming, a deep understanding of data structures, operating systems, system architecture, and more. There's also the benefit of credentials. It's no no doubt that most of the large and older companies still look at college degrees as a way of saying, look, I know what I need to know. I know what I'm doing. That might not always be the case, but it's definitely the way they view them. And if you look at any computer science or technology openings, Facebook, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, any of the big tech companies, a bachelor degree minimum is going to be on there. Obviously, college also comes with a lot of downsides. It takes at least on average four years to get a degree on top of paying twenty to $40,000 for in-state tuition and upwards of 60 on average for out-of-state tuition. College isn't cheap. On top of that, most universities, for whatever reason, do not take up a focus on actual programming skills in modern day frameworks or real life projects. You'll do a lot of data structures. You'll know the foundations very well, but going into a job, you're going to have to do a lot of learning because you will not be up to date on most technologies. Whereas if we pivot to the next option, boot camps are almost the complete opposite. They'll brush on your deep learning topics. Data structures and algorithms will be touched on, but you're mainly going to focus on building legitimate software, which is great for building real world skills that you might use in a job. Benefits to a code camp versus a traditional college are it's usually cheaper, not always. Sometimes you might be paying around the same price, but typically you're going to be spending less and you can usually complete them within a year or two versus four years. Most of your big code boot camps, not the little random websites you find, will come along with some credential as well and usually partner with certain employers to almost guarantee you at least an interview or two coming out of them. Some of them will even guarantee you a job. These ones can be a little shady, especially if they want some of your income for the next couple of years, but they are options. I would avoid them. But it's typically cheaper and it's typically shorter. These aren't always the case.
case, but they're two of the biggest pros on top of building relevant software, making things in technologies that are used by top companies. You will learn basic programming languages, but it's going to be a lot of frameworks and JavaScript and building real things that matter versus focusing on how operating systems, how computers work, how system architecture works, the deep, deep, deep parts of algorithms. That's stuff you're going to get in college, but probably not with a coding camp. Some of the downsides that come with coding camps is they are not universities. They don't hold the same level of credentials to a lot of the bigger companies. It's not to say that you can't get jobs there, it just might be a little more difficult, especially getting past that minimum bachelor's level degree on the applications. Have relevant and knowledgeable skills and you'll go a long way in the interview. Be sure not to be cocky and go into this as a learning opportunity. Doesn't make you the greatest programmer alive just because you completed the course in one year. You're there to learn, take advantage of it, and bring those skills to the table. I know from personal connections that some of the best workers come from boot camps because they know legitimate code and they don't have to spend as much time at the beginning learning what real frameworks and real code looks like in the modern tech world versus people that come from traditional universities. It's not to say that you can't gain these skills either or. You should focus on personal learning outside of your college and outside of your boot camp. If you're going to a boot camp, make sure you're learning the basics of computers. It can help you a lot when troubleshooting and problem solving. If you're going to a university, make sure you're teaching yourself modern frameworks and modern coding standards. It goes both ways. The final route you might take when it comes to learning programming to get a job is self-teaching. This one comes with the benefits of being usually free when it comes to resources like when you have access to the internet and you can use websites and YouTube to learn your programming. You can learn whatever you want so you can focus on the deep levels of computing or the actual frameworks that a lot of companies use. And you can learn on your own time while working another job. Depending on how much effort you put into it, it could take significantly longer or about the same as one of these other paths. The real downside that comes along with this is it's going to be much harder to get that opportunity for a job in the traditional way. Your best path you'll probably take is getting a position somewhere else in a company. Maybe it's help desk. Maybe it's IT support. Maybe it's mailroom. You find a way into these companies and look for internal postings where you'll be more likely to get the interview just because you simply already work at the company. It's going to be harder if you don't have some sort of certificate from a boot camp or a degree from a university. But however, again, with all three of these paths, one thing you can do is certificates. Certificates from companies like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, all can help your case. These are programs where you go through learning materials, take an exam, and you get a certificate from one of these companies, basically saying, hey, they know this topic that they studied for. These can help a lot, especially if you don't have traditional certifications like degrees or camp completions. All three of these paths are super valid and all come with their pros and cons. It's really a big weighing game. If you're young and just going into programming, for most of you, the college you go to really doesn't matter. If you can get accepted to MIT or Harvard and can afford it, that's great, go for it. But if not, I almost always suggest going to the cheapest yet credible university you can. My degree was not $50,000. And I'm glad for that. It was closer to probably 25,000. Still expensive, but I got it done in four years. I didn't pay out the wazoo and my degree got me a job. You don't have to go to a top 10 university to get a job in programming. It'll make it easier, but it's not required. So if you're young, coming out of high school and you know this is what you wanna do, I would suggest going to college if you can afford it. If not, coding boot camps are a super valid option for those looking to change their career path or that maybe took a year off and don't know what to do and wanna look for a learning opportunity. Coding boot camps are a great way to make that switch. They're usually a little more affordable, they're quicker, and they can get you into that career faster. And if you're already a professional and you know a little technical skills and you want to get more involved, do some self-teaching. It's not a bad option. It can get you skills. And if you're already at a company, it can usually move you around a little bit. All three paths are valid ways to get into the world of technology and programming. You should not feel ashamed about going to a university or going to a boot camp or self-teaching. No matter where you're at, as long as you dedicate your effort and truly study and want to learn, you will find a way. It doesn't matter if you go to university or a boot camp or if you self-teach. What matters is building your foundations, learning some languages, making projects, and applying yourself. It might be harder to get that interview, but when you do, as long as you can show you know what you know, and that you're a reasonable person to talk to, it'll be much easier to get that job. If you have any more questions about what I suggest or what paths you can take, be sure to leave them in the comments. I like having these conversations with you guys and I'd be happy to add my input. Or maybe you can talk with the community. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. My goal for the end of the year is to get to 1,000 subscribers and we're getting there with 600, so it would mean a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next Sunday.